So, where is my world? Very organized all. Oh, very organized. Oh, there it is. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Minor Minds in Minecraft. Yeah. Um, weirdly, I am invincible, kind of in ghost mode. I can place blocks and I can break blocks, but the blocks do not drop anything. And the world does not load here. I cannot open chests. And. Things aren't moving and I cannot hit them. So maybe I'm in kind of a frozen mode. So I will log out. Log back in. Maybe I'm a little bit close to the microphone today, but maybe you find that sexy. And otherwise, you just turn your volume down. And now I'm speaking to you with my sexy voice which is getting way too close to the microphone <laughs> no that wasn't sexy at all wow this takes way too much time Is this world kind of broken? I cannot play like this. Oh, that was my wallet. Man. No. Oops, I did not meant to do that. Am I still recording? Am I still recording? Hello? Hello? My computer is freezing. My Minecraft is crashing. If I am if I stop recording then it's just kind of awkward. And I'm back in the normal screen the full thing. Uh, my world is broken. It does not want to work. Fix it, Mojang. Fix it. I am falling out of the world. This is awesome. Let's go fly. I just broke an otherwise unbreakable block. Yay! Oh man, our world is corrupted. Will that bring us an end to the season? Or will Mojang try to fix it?
And if so, I cannot get out at all. So I have to teleport me up some way. And there's no way I can get up there. Or do I have a... No, I don't have any. Wait a second. No. Man. I'm going to send this in to a Mojang thing. A supportive you know where you can find support the thing where you can report bugs and things like that and if they they need to try to do something about it and I'm going to teleport myself up up top of the world with MC edit just where we left off last episode when I think the world got corrupted as soon as I talked about things you know the my random question so about random question speaking about random question um, let's answer a random question um, I think today it's not a good time for a random question actually and I want to ask you a random question and I want you to leave it in the comments I I want to ask you I normally I get a lot of feedback and that's like really nice I love the feedback I get from every subscriber whatsoever and I'm for some reason it uses my texture pack which I made like a few years ago except it uses only the breaking animation from that and it was only by that block. What the crap? That's my breaking animation. What the hell? It's kind of a cool one. And it does not do that. Oh my god. What's going on? What does it? No, that one was definitely different. Right? Or am I like a weird person? It looks different. No, no. Oh my god, that looks so weird. It was like it was using my breaking animation. But yeah, I want to ask you guys a random question. Um, let's get straight in. Wait, what? Can buck can get buckets of lava from here? Awesome. Um. Wait. I want to know your fe your feelings about something. Like, for example, you make a video. Where you clearly ask people's feedback about a specific subject. Okay? That's all cool. Um, yeah, so I ask about questions. Because I wanted to do a Q&A video. And you should just submit your questions. Whatever they were I would answer them whatever whatever you need to know except private things like my like things which you do not want to know except like when you're a thief or a person which likes to know weird things about people and I'm I'm wasting my stuff. Don't worry. 
I know what I got back. I've got video evidence. So you cannot prove me wrong. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Oh. And what would you do when nobody, like when one person, you clearly ask for things you want to know about someone. About, like you ask a question, you ask like, hey, just ask me anything. AMA, you know, ask me anything. I want to do a Q&A video, live vlog, 100, because I passed 100 videos and 1000 views lately and I am nearly half a year on YouTube now which is the 25th of April and then I wanted to release a huge Q&A video and then so I ask why uh, so I ask just give me questions and also I ask something about a separate vlog channel that if you want to know about that just go watch that vlog just go watch that goddamn vlog and just reply to it because the only reply I got was why don't you think of questions yourself so that's going to be a nice Q&A video thanks for all your questions and yeah no but seriously that's not a question you ask for a Q&A video a Q&A video is meant to let people ask you a question what they want to know about you so someone wants to know why I don't what oops why I don't think of questions myself so I'm going to yeah yeah I'm going to uh, I'll be very sad about how many Q&A questions I got and but seriously just just I said I need 50 questions then I can't talk for like an hour that's what I want I want like an hour vlog you know just relax chill and I'll reply to every question but that's too much I know but like more at least just ask something I can I can think of questions myself. Yes, I can. But if you're really like, why don't you think about questions yourself? Because that's not personal. That's not why it is like that. And that's kind of the number one thing I hate about people replying that way to Q and A video. Because they, they do know that it's Q and A videos are meant for personal questions that people can, like personally ask a question and get the, the kind of answer they were looking for. They wanted to know something about a person, and they asked them that, and he did a video about it, and that's why. Then he knew it. That's what a q and a is about so please stupid people which ask why can't you just ask questions yourself because yeah that's why and i hope you like this uh, sorry for the rant at the end the rambling but i just needed to to say that because I love the, the th that you always give me feedback and that you always support me and I'm really thankful for that. Not that I'm mad at any subscriber or something. Not that I'm mad at you, Lissy. I'm not mad at you. No, but seriously. Um, let's try to log in one more time. Seriously, um, I'm not. I'm not a person that sit is like, man. I'm going to upload a, f a thing, and I'm getting, going to get tons of feedback. 
No, that's not the case. That's never the case in YouTube. But I did get feedback from the beginning. And I'm really proud of that. And I'm really happy with that. And yeah, it's like when there's one day that they don't give feedback. I'm, I'm used to the feedback, you know. So feedback is the most important thing in YouTube. YouTube does not exist if other people don't give feedback. Even great names like PewDiePie, PewDiePie and Tobuscus and Captain Sparkles and the Yogscast all got feedback at once. Because everybody makes mistakes, everybody the first time does not render in HD. Everybody the first time has their microphone on a too low volume or something else just and those those feedbacks are what they're about so if I ask specific for feedback at that single video and you don't give it then or yeah I've got them at have 11 subscribers and none of them gave feedback that's yeah it's not not cool you know at the point where I need your feedback then you like don't give it and then at the point where you where I like do not need feedback or le need less feedback let's put it that way because you always need feedback as I said um, yeah that's kind of weird, you know. Not that I'm mad, but I'm disappointed. And I'm asking my... I just... I was... Every evening I was looking at the video and I was like... No comments. No comments. No comments. And then suddenly I saw... I scrolled down and... Just only saw the name. I saw Lord Lamabat. And I was like, yes, finally... Finally a comment, finally a question, and I, then I saw the question and I was like, what the fuck? Yes, I said that. And at that moment I said it as well. I was like sitting in my room with, with you know, family, with my sister, my mother, my father. And I was like watching the comments for the day on my phone and I just... Just set up, set it up loud, like, what the fuck, you know? And, you know those moments when you just need to say it, when something is like that weird that you need to say it? It was that moment. And everybody in the family was convinced that it was a weird question. So, yeah, not personal, not against Lord Lemon but not against anyone who didn't give feedback but at the point where I need feedback and I know that you guys all watched it because it got 11 views which the most logically is that 11 people watched it or the 11 subscribers because you're subscribed then you see the video and then you're like yeah yeah, what to do? That's a video and he wants me to, you know, give him his feedback. And you're like, no. That's, I don't get the point. You, you are probably already logged in. Otherwise, he does not recognize it as a view on the page of the, you know, video itself. And that's where I looked the last time. And... Yeah, it's just really weird that people don't, when I ask for it, don't give feedback. And then I'm thinking to myself, didn't, didn't I ask for it enough? Didn't I ask for, did I ask for it in a wrong order or just what did I do wrong? And it gives that weird feeling that you're... That you're doing something 
wrong where you know that it's that you did it right because I said that I'm pretty sure I said it so yeah I just wanted to say that and thanks for watching see you next time and then I hope with a new world because this is not a picture as you can see with my mouse this is real as long as I've been talking this just stands there so yeah I can't do anything about it so now thanks for watching